Volume 5, Number 16, The Completion of Saving Grace. Well, I have completed the book. It's been published, said Grace to Michael. I am so proud of you, Grace. When are you doing your speech? Well, my presentation is to Miller's Agency first, and there's a special dedication, so I want you to be there. It is tonight, so dress in your best suit so you can see what the speech will be all about. As Michael and Grace are going to be at a special award ceremony and the completion of Saving Grace, the book, they have not officially announced a publisher who will be publishing the book, but they do have the manuscript in the book in hand. So everything is ready to be announced. After months of work, Grace is finally finished with the book. She'll be presenting the first book to Miller's Agency, and there'll be a special ceremony at Miller's Agency to do this. So there's a lot of preparation involved. Of course, Miss Yokushoda is going to be in attendance along with mom and dad. The kids will be staying behind with the babysitters. So they have a little things set up for this event as Grace explains to Michael, so that you know the kids will be okay and they go to talk to the babysitters quickly as they're ready to leave. Now, kids will be a couple hours, but we just want you all to know now that things are winding down at school and everything, we want you to know, be on your best behavior. We're gonna be gone for a couple hours so that you know if you have any concerns or questions on what's going on, we're going to be presenting the book. Elijah is so excited. Mom, you did it. You accomplished what you said you were going to accomplish. I know, son. I am proud to say that I have accomplished this. Jenny's so excited. Mom, you didn't miss my recital either. Thank you so much, Mom. I know you worked so hard on this. Miss Yogoshetta comes in. Oh, we're all so proud. So hard work. You did. You did it. You did it. Well, listen. Now, I just want to say I want to hug all my children before I go, okay? So where is Josiah? Josiah's walking in. Josiah, my son. Oh, I love you so. Melissa walks in. Mommy. Uh, Melissa. And I need a hug from my Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Oh, Mommy, I love you. And I need a hug from my Elijah. Oh, Elijah. Keep doing good at baseball, okay, for Mom? I know you have a game coming up, so practice and warm up, okay? Keep conditioning. I will, Mom. Okay, so be good for the babysitters and the nanny, okay? Okay, Mom. We'll go to bed on time this time. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> now eat your dinner while it's warm and hot. I know you're having your favorite. Grandma made sushi tonight. Yay, said Melissa, as Melissa has a very fond favorite sushi, of course. Yes, Grandma made sushi for you all and rice, so I hope you enjoy your meal. We're going to be heading out, said Dad. We love you. Grandma and Grandpa send their love too. Oh, we're right here. Hold on. We're not leaving. We got to get our hugs from our grandchildren. Aw, oh, that's great, said Michael. As Mom and Dad hug, Grandma and Grandpa, of course, hug the kids and we're off to leave for the ceremony. This ceremony is full of hearts and warm memories. We're going to share a lot of different things, of course, as we're going to go see Marissa, Michelle, and everybody at Miller's Agency for this special ceremony. I can't wait. I can't wait for this moment. There's going to be so many unique moments here. So let's head over. As they head over to Miller's Agency, which is 10 minutes away, they get in two cars. A, Miss Yoko Machado drives over with Adrian and Tom as Mike and Grace drive in the separate car. It'll be really nice and relaxing so we get to relax for the evening as 
Jackie's going to be babysitting along with Jessica. It's nice to relax because both Jackie and Jessica are going to stay over tonight. They decided that they wanted to stay over together. It's a lot easier when two girls are staying over in the guest room. That is true, said Michael. As they drove over to Miller's agency, it was going to be a special event because they haven't seen Marissa Estes and Michelle Sparks in a while. And along with Kelly. There's going to be a small group of people here, so just remember, it's not a big event. It's just a special ceremony. They were there when it all started, so you know what's going on, <laughs> said Grace. I'm so excited about this. As, gaze, as they gazed across the room, they saw that there was obviously an espresso machine and some soda pop and tea set up for the event and small appetizers, cheese and crackers mostly. As everybody took their seats, they presented the speech by Michelle Sparks introducing the topic in conversation. Michelle Sparks is a director at Miller's agency and had this special announcement. She wanted to introduce Grace to everybody. This is Grace Smithton. She's been a member of part of this organization for almost three years. In fact, over three years. And Grace started out here as a resident and client of ours and has also become a member of our team. And since she's had four children, she is now officially just a part of this company. In a, so many words, she has done so much for this company. She's just a part of the family. Grace wrote a book and it starts out in so many ways about her story, her personal experiences. And we would like Grace to come up and share a few words about her book. She wrote it in her personal memoirs and we would like her to come up here and share a few thoughts as she's gonna describe how she got the urge and courage to share her story. Grace Smithton, would you please come up to this podium? Grace gallantly comes up, humbled by this experience. Hi, my name is Grace Smithton, and I'm married to Michael Smithton. And what I want to share with you briefly is that I took the time to write this memoir of my personal experience as a domestic abuse survivor who married this wonderful man, Michael Smithton, who I met after I survived domestic violence. And I share a wonderful story how my family grew leaps and bounds afterwards and how I survived trauma through art therapy and recovery. And most of it's about our EMDR therapy and recovering from abuse. So most of it's about therapy, something Marissa has taught me a lot about surviving anxiety attacks and all the stuff that came with the trauma of abuse. And I share what it is that came of it. Love blooms. And how so much of my therapy helped me cope with this stress of it and anxiety of abuse. Now, somebody I have to dedicate this to is God, who got me through the traumas of life and helped me believe again that there was a possibility that I could turn my life around and also Michael, my husband. And I would like Michael to come up for say a few words about what we have endured as a family to get through the hard times and good times. If he's willing to come up, would you be like able to come up and say a few words? Well, Michael was shocked. He didn't know really what to say. So he came up to this podium and he said, sure. I would love to say a few words. My name is Michael Smithton. I'm the owner of Smithton Motors and Rentals. My wife is an inspiration to me. I met her at a gas station when she was black and blue. I know firsthand from seeing her being injured by her former ex-husband 
that she was truly a victim of domestic violence. I knew she was new in town. I knew she was a victim of something. I knew, I knew it was a crime that happened to her. And since that point, I haven't looked back. And I have always thought that this is somebody special. But I had no idea what I was in store for. And then later on, by that Valentine's Day, I was engaged and then married. Wow, that was a couple years ago since that time. Now we have four children and every day gets better and better. Let me tell you, when she told me she was going to write the book, Saving Grace, it had so many different meanings to it. This book is tremendous. And I hope you enjoy reading this book. It talks not only about domestic violence, but surviving it. And then the art therapy, the inspiration behind art therapy and the trauma abuse recovery called EMDR, the grounding techniques and the things that she learned about how she recovered through the techniques and training that she learned through the help of those at Miller's Agency and all the therapies through the therapists and counselors that she went to thousands and thousands of dollars that it takes to get somebody to go from a trauma victim to recovery. That's amazing. That journey is incredible that she's been on. And she teaches people how to recover from trauma and abuse. And that's what you the takeaway from this book is all about. That's what I found so fascinating about this book is that it's about recovering from trauma and abuse self-love, how to give back, how to do, how to step out in faith. And that's what's so amazing about this book. And I hope you get as much out of this book as I've gotten from learning from her firsthand. I want to first take time to appreciate this moment. Thank you for supporting Grace through this. Thank you for supporting my family, especially Thank you for supporting me through this as well. Thank you, and God bless you. As Michael got stepped down, everybody applauded for Michael because he just spoke so eloquently. Grace was so amazed by Michael's speech. She just saw, this is my husband. Well, by the time the speech was over, Michelle came back to the podium. She just couldn't believe how well Mike spoke of Grace. And they all applauded Michael. Grace Michael, said Michelle, you two couldn't have said it better ourselves. We love what you have accomplished. And if anybody else has anything to add, Marissa came to the podium. She goes, I just want to add that that was so much better said that I don't think I have much more to say than say this. They have accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. I can't wait to hear the sequel of this event. There's got to be a second part to this book. I, I hope so too. So many people were clapping. This was a great event. As everybody was pretty much wrapping up for the evening and getting to their cars, Michael and Grace and mom and dad and Mrs. Yokoshoto were so happy. Mrs. Yokoshoto said, oh, this was so special. What a way to end this event than to have a special moment like this. And they all saw hearts and all these beautiful things that were around. Just a special event like this is like, unlike any event I've ever been to. Thank you, Grace, for inviting me, said Mrs. Yokoshoda. Mom and Dad hugged Grace and Michael. You did both excellent work. This is the best I've seen it. This book is gonna be outstanding. Whoever gets this book is going to learn so much. I can't wait to read it myself, said Mrs. Yokoshoda. As they drove off and got, well, as they drove off from the event, they were talking amongst themselves and got into the driveway. They couldn't stop talking about it as they got into the driveway. Oh, Mrs. Yokoshoda, I'm so happy that you came, said Grace. And Michael said the same thing. He was so happy that everybody attended. This was so worth it. It's so nice to close this chapter in my life. It's on to the next chapter of my life. I have to share more stories, but not this war story anymore. 
this war story is over. It's on to the next chapter of my life. A new chapter. It's time to turn the page. It's time to talk about something different. Maybe I'll write about something more inspirational, like cherry blossoms or the Japanese tea house or something like that. But the next chapter will be different. There are other stories to tell. I agree, said mom. There's no time then another story, another chapter in this saga, in this whole sequence, I'm sure, but there's got to be a new fresh story, like talking about flowers or talking about something that is a little more refreshing. This was a hard book to write. This was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. And I think that this time it's going to be more of a light read, something more refreshing, a little less intense. And Michael has said, honey, whatever you write about, if it's light, I'll read it. <laughs> and Grace agreed. She smiled and laughed. Michael, you're my number one. Have I ever told you how much I've loved you? I think I fell in love with you as I wrote this book and I realized how lucky I am to have you. I have never loved anybody like this in my life. I've never loved so deeply. I've never realized the depth of my love for you until I started writing. And when I wrote this book, I realized how much you've supported me and you've been there for me. And I want to tell you, and if, if I've never expressed it before, I express my love for you in a way that I have never expressed it. And I am sharing this with you first here and foremost, but I love you more than anything in this world. Next to the Lord himself, I love you with everything I have, and that is forever. And Michael loves you the same, said mom and dad. Michael said, Grace, I love you more than anything too. There's nothing that could pull us apart. That's one thing we share a bond. We have, we share a heart. Our hearts are joined together. And that's one thing about our wedding bands. Our wedding bands are forever. But that's one thing. That's just a symbol of our love. Our love is forever. Our love is a bond, a commitment. And it's meant to be. It's God given. It's a gift. It's a, it's a gift of forever.